Hello, YouTubers. My name is X Factor. Welcome to the always cold Asamir. It actually reminds me of where I live because we're in a huge cold snap again. This is Manny Lake Satellite, and we're coming under heavy fire. Lots of spam. So I'm switching back and forth between Combat Medic to AoE heal myself and others around me, then quickly switch back to Heavy Salt so I instantly get my armor back. I'm gonna slowly start to push out and see what's going on. This has got to be one of my favorite fights I've had since coming back to Plant Side 2. As much as I love the massive technology plant fights and the biolab farming and attacking biolabs, nothing beats the smaller fights in Plant Side 2. And that's anywhere from 10 to 50 ish. Let's call 50 a smaller fight where it's spread out. There's multiple uh, lanes, there's multiple types of cover, there's elevation changes, and this has got to be one of the coolest outposts I've ever seen. I really don't recall fighting here, so I'm trying to figure out, okay, where are the lanes, where are the bad guys at, but then there's that other dimension, because there is light assault. Light assaults can easily get to the outskirts of this map, which is kind of over my shoulder, and obviously drop down C4, or just shoot down on you. So these are big kill boxes, and it's really tough. I just survived a couple headshots there. Pop myself and kind of wait for my armor to come back in. And of course, might as well go through the reload process at this time because I'm out of ammo. If I'm going to get hit, I'm dead anyway. Probably won't even get a shot off. So what we quickly realize is they've got a Sunderer someplace. It's not just their main spawn. Our little squad's fanning out, and I'm working with a random squad. I literally join in, and it's a couple random community members. How, how crazy is that? So as you can see, the elevation got me in trouble. I didn't keep my eyes up. So try to push back out that same lane. And much like any other shooter, if you lose a lane, sometimes it's best to push that lane again. Because if you don't, who's going to? If they get a nice push in that lane, they're going to be right on top of you. And that guy's outfit, I'm like, oh, he's TR. He's really white. I'm not going to have to worry about that. No. He's VS, and he's got the laser beams, and he tried to kill me. So here's a nice little spot that I got killed from before. Try to play this as a coverage. Try to play angles, and just try to start weeding people out as they start pushing these lanes. Popping my shield when needed. It's depleted, so I've got to be really careful. Do a reload again and keep my eyes up this time, making sure I definitely don't get rushed. I'm really impressed with this outpost. I can't believe all the different cover, the elevation, and the uniqueness of this. I wish more of them were like this because, again, it rewards that infantry fight. It takes kind of the vehicle spam out of it. And if you want vehicle spam, there's a million fights for you in play inside too. But it's hard to find these heavy infantry ones. So here you see me change my angle and kind of worry about what's right here as my friendly start to push up on this lane again. But I get a little bit too consumed with that spot because somebody is at a higher level of elevation those silly light assaults so again lose the lane push the lane and obviously you can see the purple laser beams going off so I've really got to be careful look at this guy flop from the sky it's like he was in a lounging position I actually chuckled uh, in VoIP just a little bit there a little too much uh, not ragdolls but just the frozen animation is pretty hilarious to me and here you see the pouring outflow of them trying to take back a lane. So we've established the A point. The countdown is beginning. Now the question is, do we have them bottled up? Because I never got close to see their spawn. And a lot of the fights in Plant Side 2 end up bottling these guys up in their spawn. I like fights like this, where there's a secondary spawn point for the bad guys. And the fight is just liquid. It's fluid. It keeps moving. And thanks to all this different cover... I can shade with all this different uh, elevation changes and rocks and buildings. So if I start taking fire, I can simply go on the other side of a rock or turn a corner or drop down from the rock. There's so many cool spots in this base. So we've got a lot of guys dying behind us. I'm out of armor yet again, so I'm being really careful how I peek. But the fight's not over. They still have a lot of people here. And, of course, the Sunderer that we have to try to track down. And there you see the power of heavy assault, especially if they're not looking. The need almost got me. So time to press out and kill all the red dots on the mini-map. And there are a lot of them still. This might not be a done deal. They might have two senders. They might have a couple vehicles. And that's what I really like about Plant Side 2, is if the enemy team reinforces properly, or if they kind of foresee the fight coming in its equal numbers, they might pop out a sunderer beforehand. 
maybe on the back side underneath some cover so they can put a secondary angle of pressure because that's the worst thing that can happen to you when you're in a big heated battle is you think you got everybody bottled up then all of a sudden comes a massive wave of VS on a secondary angle shooting you in your back taking out all your vehicles and death ensues hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick battle at this outpost I really enjoyed this if you guys have any questions or comments don't forget to leave them down below as always youtubers Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you soon. Did you say Sunday's down?